Okay, good afternoon. Good afternoon everyone. Sa lahat ng grade 10 Felicians, good afternoon sa lahat. Sa mga co-teachers ko po, pa, sa Ruspak, sa Jaika, good afternoon po sa lahat. Especially sa ating uh, uh, school head, Dr. Reynante V. Flandes, good afternoon po sa inyo. Sa lahat ng ating mga department heads from different learning areas, good afternoon, good afternoon po sa inyong lahat. Okay, so uh, this is a brand new week. Okay, a brand new week to start a new lesson. Okay, so I am very much thankful because I have given an opportunity to lead as a live teacher for our grade 10 science quarter 2. Okay, so thank you, thank you so much. So this project is made possible through the leadership of our school help, Dr. Flandes, with the coordination of our uh, media team led by Sir Sam Katantan, and of course, our department head in science, Mrs. Vilma P. Abueme. Good afternoon po sa inyong lahat. Okay, so since we are already in the start of a new week and with a new lesson, what is our good news for this week or for this day, particularly in this, this afternoon? Okay, so to start with, our good news is we have some reflection here. Our, uh, media team, okay. So, faith is not believing that God can. It's knowing that He will. Amen. Okay. It's all about the blessings. So, we are all blessed in so many ways. Diba? As a student, you are all blessed with your family, with your friends, and of course, with your relatives with you particularly with your teachers as well as your classmates. So you are all very much blessed. So be a blessing to everybody. As well as to all the teachers, I know that you are all very, very happy this day because we have started our second quarter and uh, that is our blessings. And of course, with our students, uh, they are all considered as our own blessings. That's why we are all blessed having with them in our class. Okay, so uh, with, with the parents with you, thank you for joining with me. Uh, and with our new lesson, a uh, shout out sa aking 156 viewers. Uh, I, uh, this would be in Facebook Live. Uh, later on, I will be checking on with the YouTube Live. Okay, so thank you, thank you so much for joining. And I, I would like to shout out with my online distance learning students from grade 10 Love SSC, grade 10 Advocacy, grade 10 Brilliance, and the grade 10 Beneficence. Of course, uh, we uh, all welcome here are the modular distance learning students from grade 10 Modesty of JICA Extension. Okay, so we have also the grade 10 obedience. Thank you so much for joining. Okay, thank you so much from grade 10 respect and grade 10 loyalty. Okay, so you still have the link. Kindly send it to your classmates so that together we will going to learn a brand new lesson for a brand new quarter. Okay, so thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, so to start our lesson, so we have also the grade 10 obedience. Thank you so okay, much. Okay, so we are now in quarter two of our Thank lesson so that deals with force, motion, and energy. Okay, with the code S10, so that is science 10, force and energy, 2A to B. Okay, so that is quarter two, week one. Thank you. Thank okay. You so now it deals on the electromagnetic spectrum, the properties of electromagnetic wave, which focuses under the quarter two okay, of week so we one. Are now in quarter two of our lesson that deals with force. Motion, okay. And to meet our content standard for this day, the learners demonstrate an understanding of the different regions of the electromagnetic spectrum. Now, it deals on and the our spectrum. Property 
Please, and our uh, learn. And our learning competencies are discuss the relative wavelengths and the frequencies of the different forms of electromagnetic waves, compare the relative wavelengths and the frequencies of the different forms of electromagnetic waves. Okay, so to begin with, I have here, I have here a flashback. Okay, from our previous lesson, I know these are all lessons that you have taken up when you were in grade 7 or in grade 8. So these are familiar words to you. They are unscrambled. And I want you to uh, comment in our section box here the, the word that is best fit for the different definitions here. So just write in the number and your answer. So I will be waiting for your answer. Okay, so let's have it number one. What do you think is the answer for number one? I want you to comment in our section box here the word that is best fit for the Okay, so we have here already the answers coming from our students. So number one here is wave. How about number two? Thank you so much for those who have answered. So let's have it number one. What do you think? Okay, so let's have number two. Okay, so we have already here the answers are is crest. Okay, so uh, Raven Fernandez of Great and Love have answered uh, press as the first one to answer that uh, question. Okay, let's proceed now with number three. Okay, somebody answered here throw. Okay, or trap. Okay, as you pronounce it. Yeah. Let's proceed now with number four. Okay, next. Number four now is your answer now is amplitude. Thank you. Very good. Okay, let's proceed now with number five. So it uh, it's distance between the two consecutive identical parts of the wave. All right, the answer here now is the wavelength coming from Rich Miranda of Grade 10 Love. Thank you, Rich. Okay, and others also answer the same thing for number five, wavelength. And last, number six, it refers to the number of waves produced in a second or in one second. What's now your answer? Okay, for number six, the answer now is frequency. Okay, so that those are the words that are very much familiar with you as you have discussed all about waves in grade seven and in grade eight. And we will going to use those words again for our new topic for this afternoon. Okay. All right, so let's now uh, label this part of a wave as part of our recall. Okay, so number one here, we have the crest. The, that is the topmost part of the wave. Diba? Okay, and we have here the throw or the trough, the lowest point of the wave. Okay, followed by the, wa the wavelength. Wavelength, this is the distance of the consecutive uh, crest diba? or consecutive trough. 
and of course the amplitude okay so that is the distance from the peak up to the middle point of the given wave okay so thank you so much for those who have responded and i have received so many hearts and reaction comments coming from our great and learners from rosepak main and jica extension welcome welcome to our uh, lesson for this afternoon all right so to begin with our discussion here is our illustration of our electromagnetic wave okay so the electromagnetic wave is an accelerating electrons produced electromagnetic wave so it comes from the accelerating electrons and this is actually a combination of the magnetic field and electric field okay so as you've seen it in our diagram here it moves accordingly to the propagation and to the direction of the wave okay so the blue one here indicates the electric field and the red one here indicates the magnetic field okay more information about electromagnetic waves a changing magnetic field produces an electric field and a changing electric field produces a magnetic field but both electric field and magnetic fields and electric field oscillates perpendicular to each other and to the direction of the wave so they move perpendicular perpendicularly to the direction of the given wave okay so that is all about the information of electromagnetic waves okay as we move on let's have now some important ideas what are electromagnetic waves and what are the properties involved here okay electromagnetic waves are classified as kind of transverse wave okay so kasi kanina sinabi ko di ba it moves perpendicularly to the direction of the wave next it can travel through a medium even in an empty space okay so that is how our uh, electromagnetic wave travels okay but of course they are unseen Okay, energy and forces that can be found in our nature. Diba? Next. It travels at the speed of light and that value of our speed of light is 3 times 10 raised to the 8th power meter per second. That's how fast our electromagnetic wave moves. Okay? And it is represented by C. Okay? for a representation of the speed of light. Okay, and that is equivalent to how many zeros? So we have 300 million meters per second. So that is the equivalent value for 3 times 10 to the 8th power meter per second. Okay, shout out sa ating 196 viewers from uh, via fb live thank you so much for joining okay so this is now the illustration of the electromagnetic spectrum that shows the region of the different spectra okay or spectrum there are seven spectrum in this uh, illustration namely we have here the radio wave okay the radio wave and then we have here the microwave okay followed by the infrared the visible light okay the ultraviolet rays or also known as the uv rays the x-ray and the gamma rays okay so as you've seen in our diagram here uh, this illustration shows the approximate length or height of that given weight. So it can be related to the following illustration. So for example, uh, the radio wave is almost approximately the height of the building. Okay, that's how, how, uh, how large or how long is the wavelength of the radio wave. The microwave is... Uh, somehow as big okay of 
as big as much as big as the butterfly okay or as long uh, the length of a butterfly okay and the infrared is as much as the same length of the tip of the needle okay for visible light okay so it can be uh, magnified a microorganism like a paramecium and amoeba and an amoeba okay and the rest are for ultraviolet rays X-ray and the gamma rays. So let's now hear the comparison of its wavelength from the radio wave down to the gamma rays. Okay. So if you were going to look at the given information here, so these are their approximate wavelength. Okay. I have here the table shows the approximate wavelength. Okay. So for radio wave, so that is greater than 1 times 10 to negative 1. So it means greater than. So it can be more than 1 times 10 to negative 1. In our illustration here, it can be of the same height of human or it could be larger than the basketball court or, or as what I've said, it could be as uh, of greater length like the height of a building. Okay. For microwave, it is in between 1 times 10 to negative 1 to 1 times 10 to negative 3 meters. Okay. For the infrared, that is 1 times 10 to negative 3 to 7 times 10 to negative 7 okay. meters. That is under me uh, meter measurement. For visible light, that is 7 times 10 to negative 7 to 4 times 10 to negative 7. So as you've seen here, uh, our visible light can be furtherly divided into 7 colors. Diba? When you were grade 8, you already studied these, the different colors that can be found inside white light. Diba? So we can uh, represent it as YGBIB. So it stands for red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet. Okay, so those comprises our visible light or also known as our white light that covers 7 times 10 to negative 7 to 4 times 10 to negative 7. Okay. Okay, going back for our ultraviolet rays that is 4 times 10 to negative 7. Okay to 1 times 10 to negative 8. Okay, so that's how, how large already or how small already is the wavelength of the ultraviolet rays. Okay, so next for the uh, X-ray that follows after ultraviolet rays that is measuring 1 times 10 to negative 8 to 1 times 10 to negative 11 meters okay so that covers x-ray okay and for the gamma rays that is less than okay so mas maliit pa so one time is 10 to negative 11 meters so okay by the way class our uh, wavelength has a unit of measurement of lambda so as what you have seen here in our uh, presentation here so that's how Lambda is being written off. Okay, next. So this is the relative comparison of the wavelength of the seven spectra under the electromagnetic spectrum. Okay. Let's now proceed with their frequencies. Okay, sabi natin kanina do sa ating flashback, di ba? Uh, the frequency is the number or the cycle in one second. Okay, so here we will be determining how much is the value of the frequency of every region of the electromagnetic spectrum. I have also here a table that will show the frequencies. Okay, for radio wave, that is less than 3 times 10 to the ninth power. Okay, for microwave, that is 3 times 10 to the 9th power to 3 times 10 to the 11th power 
hertz. By the way, class, the unit of measurement for frequency is hertz. Okay. Next, infrared has a frequency of 3 times 10 to 11 to 4 times 10 to the 14th power hertz. Okay. Okay. And of course, we have here the visible light, 4 times 10 to 14 power to 7.5 times 10 to the 14th power that is shared by the seven colors in the visible spectrum, okay? And also after the visible light, we have here now the ultraviolet rays that is 7.5 times 10 to the 14th power to 3 times 10 to the 16th power hertz, okay? And followed by the X-ray, that is 3 times 10 to 16 to 3 times 10 to 19 hertz. And of course, the last uh, gamma rays, okay, that is, it has a frequency of 3 times 10 to the 19th power. So greater than, mas, mala, mas mataas pa ang frequency niya as compared sa iba. Okay? So those are the frequencies of the seven uh, regions in the spectrum. Okay, now let us compare the values that we gathered from the wavelength to the frequencies. And we will going to also include the energy that these regions possesses. Okay. Okay, so we have here now the wavelength in meters. So we have just copied here. Okay. Next, followed by the frequencies. Ayan. So, frequencies are already mentioned here. Ayan. And of course, the energy. Okay. So, as we look back and compare the measurement or the data coming uh, written here in our presentation, how are we going to compare the wavelength, the frequencies, and the energies of the seven spectra? Let's start off from radio wave down to gamma rays. So we will be using two words, two magic words here. Okay, what are the magic words here? It's either increasing or decreasing. Okay, so I will be needing now your answer. Uh, what would be the trend for the wavelength from radio wave to gamma rays? Increasing or decreasing? Uh, great then. Okay, let's wait for their answers. Maybe they are uh, still typing. Okay, shout out daw muna sa mga great 10 fidelity. Hello, hello sa inyong lahat. Uh, Victor Aguirre of Great and Modesty. Good afternoon. Ayan. Okay. Shout out also sa mga students natin from Great and Compassion, of course. Ayan. Sa aking mga students from Great and Brilliance, Modesty, Obedience, Perseverance, Resilience, Hope, Beneficence, Respect. Okay. And of course, also shout out sa aking fellow Science teachers, uh, both in Rosepak and in JICA. Uh, Ma'am Monette Florentino, shout out to sa inyo. Ma'am Mary Ann Fernandez, good afternoon po sa inyo. Ma'am Lita Quaderno, good afternoon po. Ma'am Bennett Navarro, good afternoon po. Okay, yan na. Okay, so uh, Alteo Ramirez answered increasing. Very good. So the trend of wavelength from radio wave to gamma rays is increasing. Okay. Okay. What is now our trend for the frequency? Okay. Frequency. Ayan. Yun. Sumasagot sila. Nakakatuwa naman. Okay. According to Nicole Margaret Aurel. Decreasing. Thank you, Nicole. Very good. Okay. Very good. Decreasing ang kanyang sagot. Okay, the same as true with Chloe Rivero. Decreasing. Sean Michael Pelorina. Decreasing. Thank you for your answer. Yan. 
Shane Eloise Natanyo decreasing. Ayan. So I'm very, very happy that you have responded with our uh, comparison here. Ayan. Thank you. Okay. Now, what do you think about the trends of the spectra or the spectrum when it comes to their energy? What do you think? Is it increasing or decreasing? Okay. Ayan. May mga, may mga nagpapa-shout out pa. So, good afternoon sa inyong lahat. Okay. So, our energies here starts from less than 2 times 10 to negative 24 joule. So, that is our unit of measurement for energy for radio wave. Down to uh, greater than 2 times 10 to negative 14 of the gamma rays. So, what is now the trend for the energy? of the uh, electromagnetic spectrum. Okay, correct. The answer is increasing. Okay, so there you have it. The energy increases from radio wave down to gamma rays. Okay, very good. Very good sa mga uh, nag-respond. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. So if we were going to compare the wavelength versus the frequency of the given wave, okay, of the electromagnetic spectrum, we can say that wavelength and frequencies are inversely proportional to each other. Why? Because as the wavelength decreases from radio wave to gamma rays, its frequency increases from radio wave to gamma rays. The same as true if we were going to compare the wavelength of the radio waves versus the energy that they possesses, they are also inversely proportional. However, if we were going to compare the frequencies and the energies of the electromagnetic spectrum regions, they are considered directly proportional because as the frequency increases from radio wave to gamma rays, their corresponding energy also increases. Okay, so to sum it up our discussion for this afternoon, so here is an illustration of our electromagnetic spectrum. So the trend here from left to right, okay, so here our wavelength is longer, so it is possessed by the radio wave. It carries lower frequency and lower energy. However, on the end of the other side of the illustration, there is shorter wavelength, but it possesses the higher frequency with highest energy. Ayan. So that is our trend of comparison between the wavelength, the frequency, and the energy of the given spectrum. Okay. Now, let's test. Let's try. Okay. You will going to choose, okay? Uh, grade 10, ready? Ready with your pen and uh, paper? Okay, kindly answer this. Okay. Number one, which has shorter wavelength? The X-rays or the gamma rays? Yeah, so let us just wait for them. Maybe they are still getting their own pen. Okay, so ayan, may mga nagpapa-shout out pa. Thank you, thank you. Okay, Dania Jane Basigsig answer, it's gamma rays. Thank you, let us see if, uh, if the answer is correct. Ayun, okay, it's gamma rays. Thank you sa mga nag-respond. Ella May Napire, John uh, De Kinia. Uh, Jesley Solorin, Arabel Apolonio. Okay. Yan, thank you. Next, which has higher frequency? The visible light or the ultraviolet rays? Okay, so let's wait for their answer. Okay. 
Okay, which has higher frequency, the visible light or the ultraviolet rays? Ayun, okay, Zoe sa Tolentino answered it's ultraviolet. Okay, the same is true with Hana. Okay, let us see if the answer is correct. Ayun, it's ultraviolet. Okay, thank you. Next, third question, which has more energy? Radio wave? Or infrared? Okay. Which is higher energy? Okay, so some answered here. It's infrared. Okay, thank you so much. The answer is correct. Okay. Next, number four. Let's proceed now with number four. Okay. Which has longer wavelength? Which has longer wavelength on visible light? The green light or the blue light? Okay. Which has longer wavelength on the visible light? The green light or the blue light? Okay. Angel Jasmine Malvas answered green light. Okay. The same as true with Shira uh, Glaze Mendoza. Jorain Cortez, it's green light. Let us see. Okay, green light. Thank you. Okay. And number five here, which has the lesser frequency? The microwave or the gamma rays? Which is the lesser frequency? The microwave or the gamma rays? Okay. So they are still... Okay. Okay, the answer is now from uh, what section is this? Oh, thank you. The answer is microwave. Let us see if the answer is microwave. Okay, thank you. That is the correct answer. Between gamma rays and microwave, microwave has the lesser frequency. Ayan. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm glad that Uh, you fully understand our discussion in the comparison of the wavelength and the frequencies of the electromagnetic spectrum. Okay, let's proceed. Let's try it once more. Ayan. Okay. So for this, you will be writing also, okay, decrease or increase when it comes to the trend of the... Uh, Radio wave down to the gamma rays. Okay, so all you have to do is to write down, is it decrease or increase? What about, What can you say about the wavelengths from radio wave to gamma rays? Man, so what do you think is the answer? Wavelength? Okay, so what do you think is the answer? What is the trend of the wavelength from radio wave to gamma rays? Of course, our answer here is... Yes, okay, thank you so much, Raymond Belleza. The answer is... Decrease. Okay, so... From radio wave down to gamma rays, gamma rays, its wavelength decreases. Okay, from longer wavelength of radio wave down to the shortest wavelength of the gamma rays. Okay, so it decreases. What about their frequency? Okay, their frequency. Okay, yes. So some answered it increases from Ana Katrina Zarate. Okay. Can Angelo Teodoro? The answer now is increase. Ayan. So from radio wave down to gamma rays, the frequency increases. Okay. And how about their energy? How about their energy? 
Okay. So, Hana Layosa says, it is increases. Yan. So, thank you sa mga nag-respond. Okay. So, uh, that is our second uh, test. Uh, whether you understand our discussion this afternoon. Okay. Let's have another one. Let's have another one. Okay. So this time, you will ask to arrange the region of electromagnetic spectrum based on increasing wavelength. Okay. So write down the arrangement or you will going to write down the spectrum and arrange them according to their increasing wavelength. Yan. Okay, let's wait for the answer. Let's wait for the answer. Okay, so Dina Jane Basig Six answered it. Gamma rays, X-ray, UV rays, visible light, infrared, microwave, and the radio wave. Okay, thank you. So the same as true with Jehisa Ivone Lacson, okay, Jaran Isidro, Julme Aga. Okay, so they have the same answers. Let us see if their answers are correct. Ayan. So, it's gamma rays, x-rays, ultraviolet rays, visible light, infrared, microwave, and the radio wave. Okay. Next, let's have it the second one. Arrange the region of electromagnetic spectrum based on increasing frequencies and energy. Okay, so this time you will be arranging the regions of electromagnetic spectrum based on increasing frequencies and energy. Ayan. Thank you so much sa mga nagre-respond. Okay, very good. Okay, bakit ito nawala? Balik lang natin. Okay, so answers here coming from Ayan, okay. It's radio wave, microwave, infrared, visible light, ultraviolet rays, x-rays, gamma rays. Okay, so Dania Basigsig is correct. Okay, Maddox Lewis, uh, correct. Thank you. Ayan, Jorain Cortez, thank you. Correct. Veronica Macalino Valena. Thank you. Ayan. So, all of your answers now are correct. Okay. So, as we moved on with our lesson, okay. So, this is some sort of reminder for all grade 10, okay, both in Roospak and in Chaika. So, this serve as your weekly home learning plan and this serve as your guide for all the tasks Okay, and for all the activity that you need to accomplish for this week, starting November 15 today up to November 18, that is Thursday. So please take note of the pages, okay, and the learning task number uh, for you to answer, okay. And for the ODL class, you will going to submit it to your respective ODL teachers via Google Classroom. And for the MDL students, you will be submitting it uh, by hard copy and to be submitted into the school uh, once the schedule of the retrieval has been announced. Ayan. So you will going to staple all your 
outputs. Okay? With the corresponding name of your science teacher. Okay? So, I hope you learn a lot from this lesson and we will going to see each other next week for a brand new lesson. This time, we will be dealing with the different practical applications and the different uh, forms of the electromagnetic spectrum. Ayan. So, with this, I want to thank everyone for joining our uh, online live teaching for this afternoon talking about electromagnetic spectrum. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. God bless us all and keep safe. Keep safe with your family. Stay at home and God bless everyone. This is Sir Ruel Engreso at your service. Thank you.